Today we're getting a look at the BSPI from Arbor Scientific. It's actually a self-contained photo gate and it's by far the simplest way for teachers and students to measure instantaneous velocity. It's something educators know they'll need for a number of different topics, including potential to kinetic energy transformation, free fall experiments, and just about any experiment where instantaneous velocity can be measured. The BSB uses a pair of self-contained photo gates with a known distance in between. That means it's actually measuring the time it takes for an object to pass between both photo gate sensors. It then uses that time to calculate the instantaneous velocity. Teachers will be excited to know it measures velocity in meters per second, and by holding down the select button, you can also get readings in kilometers per hour and centimeters per second. You can also simply tap the select button to recall the five most recent measurements from prior data sets or experiments. This really comes in handy with the BSB lap function. Just hold the start button to switch functions so you can begin recording the time it takes for an object like a pendulum to make a lap. As you can see, our LCD display makes all your data easier to read, reducing potential human error, and you don't need to worry about being held down by wires either. It's battery powered and it's easy to change them out just by accessing this panel right on the back. Now let's take a look at all the benefits that you can get with the BSB. First of all, it's ideally suited for measuring instantaneous velocity. This more traditional model has additional capabilities like measuring intervals and frequencies or accommodating larger items, but it is limited by how much time it takes to just set up or adjust. The majority of what you'll need to get done in the classroom can be accomplished by using the BSB as it cuts out all the extra setup time and is completely self-sustaining. That means your students are spending more time engaging with their learning and less time waiting for someone to show them what to do. So now let me show you how versatile and creative you can get with your classroom experiments by using the BSB. In this experiment, we'll measure the transformation of potential to kinetic energy by moving the BSB to different distances and heights on this track so we can get some different data points. Now look just how easy the BSB makes this experiment to set up as we prepare for our first run. We've got the BSB in location. We're gonna take our panel truck and put it at the top of the track, let it go, and we got 0.66 meters per second. Now we'll move the BSB further down the track to try and get a different reading. We'll take our panel truck, once again, set it up at the top of the track, let it go and then we get a reading of 1.29 meters per second. All right, now I'm gonna show you how you can use the BSB in a projectile motion experiment. So we're just gonna move the BSB over. We're gonna fit it right into this 3D printed adapter that we made for our mini projectile launcher, where we can use it to measure the initial velocity of each launch. So let's load up our artillery, get that reset there, pull it on back, and let it rip. What a launch, and we got a reading of 3.75 meters per second. Now in this last experiment, we're actually gonna use two BSBs that are attached here to our ring stand using some of our ring stand adapters so we can study how gravity acts on objects that are in free fall. Now this one's pretty simple. We'll start with our object at the top of this clear tube, let it go, and there's our data points. And the BSB has a focused design which makes all of these experiments so much easier to set up and it comes at a price point that makes it ideal and accessible for group work or lab stations. So now that you've been introduced to the BSB here at Arbor Scientific, we're excited to see all the great work you do with it in your labs.